Hey there, air, air, earth. Okay. <laughs> when I recorded the earth signs, I said, hey there, air, earth signs. Then I recorded the earth, recorded the water. Now I did it again with you guys, with the air signs. This is the weekly reading for air signs, March 8th through the 14th. <laughs> Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini, I will timestamp below. You may be dealing with an earth sign or you have earth in your chart, in which case, check out that video. I will link it up here. Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. If you have not caught your monthly readings, make sure you go to my channel. So you can check it out. So this is something new I'm trying. Let me know how you guys like it. I'm going by elements. Wasn't sure if I should do individual weekly signs or if I should just do one long reading and timestamp for every sign. Um, I figured this was going to be easier for me to upload four different short videos instead of one super long one. <laughs> okay, so Aquarius, Saber, Gemini, what is going on for my air signs? March 8th through the 14th. 2021 for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, as well as Libra and Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so be assertive, <laughs> remain positive, and most definitely listen to your intuition. So whatever it is that you've got going on for yourself, I feel the need to show you this, which you have big, happy changes coming in for you. You may not see it quite yet. Uh, you may have been afraid of something not working out in your favor. I think that you buy yourself some time uh, with your assertions, with listening to your intuition, moving forward, how you want to say things, communicate. I think there's a way for you to come across being assertive and positive at the same time. Trust your intuition, what your guides are saying to lead you down that path. And, you know, whatever, whatever the situation may be, heavy, minor, whatever it is that you're going through this week, the Spirit is saying, listen, we got you. We're in your ear, we're in your heart, we're in your mind, body, soul, spirit, we got you. Listen to us. Don't move in anger, but be assertive. And above all, remain positive. Things will work out the way they are meant to work out. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius this week. Wow, really quickly. Queen of Wands, Three of Cups. There is something to celebrate. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm sorry. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for that Queen of Wands. Wow, and another three. So definitely working together, collaborating as a team. Uh, team effort. So Virgo had something similar. <laughs> You know, two of pentacles, you're weighing out your options, but there's only so much you can do before those options start to weigh heavily on you. You're just like, I can't be the only one who's smart enough or capable enough to get things moving forward. Like, I'm not the one that should be telling people what to do is what I'm hearing. But if you don't, you almost feel like if I don't say something, no one else will. Like, why hasn't anyone spoke up? You know, if we want victory and move forward movement, I may be the only one that can speak up, that can get the ball rolling here. Now, this two of pentacles, if it's like a group work effort and you're trying to, you know, get the point across, you're going to get tired of standing on one leg, right? It's like almost like how can it be a team celebration if it wasn't a team effort, right? I know that you will be assertive. You will be vocal. You will remain positive. Listen to your intuition. There is a need for, you know, uh, teamwork here, collaborating, uh, really taking into consideration other people's inputs and point of view. And so you may need to take a step back. Sometimes if you're being a little assertive and the only thing you see is what you know for yourself, you, you may be susceptible to getting like tunnel vision but you want to be able to be open to seeing other sides to the story other sides to the situation other possible outcomes doesn't mean it, you won't get your way but sometimes the other person just wants to be heard <laughs> and sometimes the other person wants to take credit if it's like an opposing team or whatever and so you may have to appeal to that of like hey you know that's a great idea i think that your idea and my idea 
can work well together if we do it this way, you know? It's like you're almost convincing them in that way of, you know, I've got great ideas, you've got great ideas. Let's, you know, put those ideas together on a board, on a spreadsheet, on a PowerPoint, whatever it may be, right? So again, if, if uh, you haven't caught your March monthly reading, it there was something about that at work to speaking up in a situation in a group project type thing. Uh, I think that you feel like you've been left out in the cold and things were not taken into consideration in the past or perhaps in your current situation. And, you know, you're at the point of I'm not going down without a fight is what I'm hearing. There are things to look forward to and people are jumping ship is what I'm seeing with this 10 of wands. It's like the fight feels too heavy for others to continue to bear like it's it's too much of a fight i'm not willing to risk my reputation my job whatever it may be you are assertive enough to get across that point listen to your intuition remain positive you know i think there's a lot of conflict here especially within a, this i'm gonna say it if this is a team effort there's a conflict within the team if you're just one small part of a bigger piece of the pie, a bigger, you know, scenario, you have opposing views and there are situations that you're not aware of. Okay, I need to get to the bottom of this because I think that there's something that will be uncovered that will come to the forefront and you're not prepared for that. Yeah, when I said that the tower card came out. Okay, listen, if you're dealing with a Virgo, check out the Virgo uh, Earth Weekly Readings. Virgo was the first one. Also similar energies. Uh, it's one of those, um, you kind of get thrown. It, it really is like, like a tower moment of like, they said or did what or they failed to do what i thought they had my back i thought they were protecting me you're that five of pentacles energy you're just like wow i'm at odds with my own people i'm at odds with my own family i'm at odds with my own partner spouse team whatever it may be and you almost feel like when that when that comes out, when the truth comes out, it will come out this week about someone's plans or intentions. I feel like there's a hidden agenda here. It will come out, whether by your intuition, by spirit coming through, or because somebody lets the cat out, cat out of the bag, okay? And when that happens, you're just like... F this, F them, I'm on my own, I'm jumping ship. Uh, nobody's got my back but me, I'm, I got my own back and I'm, that's it. I'm done working with these people, I'm done collaborating with these people. There is something here that's hidden though. Give me a sec, I'm gonna get another deck. Okay, I just have to... There's something that's going to come out. I didn't do it for the Virgo reading, but I, I got to know now. <laughs> What's being hidden that will be uncovered this week? Oh, friend, huh? Money. Mm, okay. There's conversations being had behind your back, behind the scenes that you're not aware of, and everything is focused around money. I think that you have a friend, a partnership within this team, someone that you are close to, that you have some sort of rapport with that will uncover the truth about the situation. It's like, listen, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but this is what I heard, or I was at this meeting, or this is what I uncovered. And that puts you in a sense of like, oh my God. Shit's going to be real. Shit's going to hit the fan. How, where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? There was someone that was in it for themselves. I think someone was promised like a bigger promotion or more money, a ch title change, or they saw it as an opportunity to look good to a point of making more money in the long run, but in the in. In fact, what happened was almost like a career killer, okay? So, yeah, that's crazy, okay? 
Um, kind of a weird reading, Aquarius. I don't know what's going on with you guys or in your environment, in your family, partnerships, in your job, but there's definitely going to be, I don't feel like it's a tower moment for you that affects you in a way of like it shocks you. It will shock you whatever comes out. Maybe not as much as it would have because I just kind of uncovered it. Uh, but whatever it is, it's like, I freaking knew it. You know, here I was trusting the wrong person. Or how could this person, you know, do this to us? How could this person do this to me? You know, they were in it for themselves. And I think what I had said in the Virgo one is that like there were other hands in the cookie jar. So definitely with that money, it, it ended up being a career killer. I don't want to say someone sold their soul, but it kind of feels like it's go. it was about to go that route. But let's move on. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Be assertive, remain positive, and listen to your intuition. Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles, the Lover's Card. Seven of Wands, standing for what you believe in. Listen, you had a pretty tough um, reading for your March. Check that out. I'll link it here. It felt as though you were kind of in this codependent uh, entanglement, I guess I'll call it, a connection, someone that maybe you were going back and forth with. You know that you shouldn't continue to entertain it. It, it brings about, I mean, look at this not nine of cups, I said nine and it's four of cups. It's, you know, emotional discontentment. You don't understand why you're still crying over something from so long ago. There's a lot of disappointment here and a need for healing. You have two majors here. So it is about healing partnerships and relationships, but I just have to, you know, show you the lover's card is two snakes here. So definitely be weary and be clear if you are going back and forth with someone what someone's intentions are and if you challenge them in a way where you're just like you know are, are we doing this for real or not are, are we just kind of like in limbo still trying to figure out where we're going from here yeah stalemate energy um i think that pushes them to leave and no offense libra they do you a favor. <laughs> so, you know, it's at this point of I need to be assertive because something tells me that this isn't going to work out, whatever the connection is, you know, friendship, love, uh, partnership and business. And I think something has already been telling you that. And when you finally kind of just put your foot down and be like, you know, you're kind of coming and going like you own the place around here, you know, if it's business or, you know, whatever, uh, or with a, a past lover, friend, whatever, uh, Knight of Pentacles here. I think that when you put them to, when you push them to the line of what are we doing? Are we really going to make this work? Are we really going to move forward? They suddenly get choked up, confused. I don't know. I haven't thought about it that far. You know, if this is someone that you have history with, let's just be really clear. They know. They know if they want a future with you or not. And they might say something like, I do, but you know, this isn't the right time. We're not in the right place to make this work together. I'm working a lot or I'm going to school or I'm, you know, whatever it is that they're busy with in their life. And they've got a million excuses of why it's not going to work out to be a serious relationship. Again, if you're trying to reconnect with them, you know, and there's your answer. Okay, if this isn't the right time, then I'm going to do you, I'm going to do me and you do you and you go take care of what you need to take care of. And if and when you think you're ready to have a relationship with me, a future with me, we'll see where we both are at. Maybe I don't want you no more by then. Maybe I find myself someone who's willing to give me the time, energy, love, effort, whatever, companionship, commitment that you can't give me right now. Because that's what I want right now. And well, you got other things going. So good luck. And I think that when you do that, by being assertive in that sense of, listen, I'm not going to force you to be where you don't want to be. And, you know, if you've got other things going, I'm going to encourage you to do you and continue to better yourself while I continue to take care of myself. 
but they do you a favor because you're no longer in limbo. You're no longer left hanging, you know, in confusion of are we or aren't we going to commit or create a family or move together? And it weighed heavily on you because there was a lot of confusion and you're just like, I don't know if I see a future with them if they're not showing me signs. I mean, it's just like a comfortable connection relationship, Netflix and chill, and that's it. There's no like ambition or drive to really do anything more beyond that. And that, I know you're going to think I scared them away. Good. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little too assertive. I don't know. But good, Libra. Because if they get scared by the basics, the basic needs and requirements in a connection, in a relationship, they're not the one for you. They're probably not the one for anybody until they figure out what they want. And let them go figure it out. They may or may not come back. You know, at the end of the day, <laughs> I feel like you want marriage and commitment. And this person's a little too flighty. You already know the answer to that, right? Listen to your intuition for sure. You've probably even had dreams that tell you, that show you, that disapprove of the current connection that you're in. I know that sounds weird. But I feel like you even get a message in your dreams saying, you know, showing you with someone else, showing you in a happy commitment. And when you see the person that you're in that commitment with in your dream, you realize that's not who I thought it would be. So it opens you up for, you know, new blessings, new opportunities. Listen to your guides, your intuition. Remain positive above all. Not everything has to be detrimental. Take things with stride and know ultimately that things move for your highest good. Now let's move on to Gemini. What is going on, Gemini? You had a beautiful, hello, a really nice reading, but it scared you. <laughs> I think it feels like it's scary to you. You have the Four of Wands, <laughs> Strength card, yeah, Definite Self-Sabotage, uh-huh, Ace of Cups, Strength, Nine of Swords, The Magician, beautiful new beginnings with someone who finally shows you their true intentions, finally tells you how they feel. You have someone who's communicative, who's loving, endearing, supportive, um, is already like talking future plans with you, and you're just like, slow your roll. Okay, I just heard they're talking forever with you and you're just like, what? What? This is the magician card, but all I see is the hand like putting a stop to it. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you are tied to your excuses is what I want to say. Um, Self-sabotage to the max. There's a lot of love here and there is an opportunity for commitment. This person is really into you. They see a future with you. They speak to you very clear and openly about their emotions. I don't think you're used to that. And that makes you overthink. Like, are they just, you know, saying what they think I want to hear? Um, you're just not used to that. You're used to someone who was maybe a little bit vague because you were used to no commitment. But... Check out your March reading. I will link it here. Uh, it, it was about a very strong, caring connection that almost scared you because it was, yeah, conflict. Okay, here's, here's what it boils down to. Point blank, Gemini. Five of Wands, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. You are like one step away from your happily ever after, but you're conflicted. Okay, something moved on my on my table. I don't know if you heard of that, like metal bang. I did not, <laughs> I don't know what that was. It was not me, okay? But clearly spirit is emphasizing that your prayers, your manifestation for your soulmate, partnership, your happily ever after, the end all be all, they've been heard. They've been manifested. They are here in the flesh. And you're conflicted? Really? I thought you knew what you wanted. I thought you said you knew what you wanted. And so you're just now going to, what? Say, oopsie, never mind. <laughs> 
This is your happily ever after that has stepped in. They come with a commitment, the Hierophant card, absolutely. And they bring about a new sense of life, of love, of freedom. I cannot make this shit up, you guys. Gemini, you've got a beautiful connection, relationship that has already come in or is about to come in. Oh my God. This is marriage material. This is, uh, you've cleared your karma. It's time for you to stop self-sabotaging, stop overthinking. They're, your, they're like your soulmate and you're just like, what? This feels too good to be true. That type of energy. So Gemini, that's what you got going on this week. I think there's a lot for you to, you know, think about, mull over, uh, contemplate. You know, whether or not you want to pull back out of this connection, because that's the feeling I get from you is that like, well, I'm trying to get my shit together or I've got things that I'm working on or I'm in between jobs or I'm in between careers or I'm in between homes, whatever it may be. And this person wants to love you, help you, support you any way that they can. And you're just like, no, it's okay what <laughs> stop it remain positive listen to your intuition if you know your intuition is a negative nally because that's your inner self-talk the, the self-sabotage you know that's what you've grown accustomed to being uh air quotes your intuition that really is not your intuition okay that's your fears that have you know muted your intuition muted your guides and your fears have taken over. You need to clear yourself of that. And you need to start thinking more optimistically. And less inclined to move in fear. How about moving forward in love, in joy, in happiness, in peace, in tranquility? Okay? Contentment. Harmony. Okay, my Gemini friends, air sign friends, I wish you guys all the best. Have a wonderful week. Let me know what you guys think of these weekly readings. Let me know down below in the comments. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell so you get notified of every upload. Your March monthly readings are already up, so go check those out. Take care. Have a wonderful week. Bye.